everyone welcome back to my youtube channel medico voice today's topic is chronic inflammation so what is chronic inflammation when the acute inflammation persists for a longer period of time then it will be called chronic inflammation it has delayed onset it is prolonged and ongoing inflammation chronic inflammation is usually associated with tissue destruction which is the hallmark of chronic inflammation what are the wbc cells involved in case of chronic inflammation there are mainly two type of wbc cells involved in chronic inflammation first one is monocyte second one is lymphocyte so we should differentiate between the monocyte and lymphocyte in case of monocyte the nucleus present inside the cell is reniform or kidney separate while in case of lymphocyte the nucleus present inside the cell is oval or round in shape lymphocyte can be either a small or large type according to the size of the nucleus present inside the cell now come to the life span of monocyte life span of monocyte is 1 to 3 days while the life span of lymphocyte is 2 week to 2 years normally monocytes is present inside the blood but when monocyte is kept into the tissue from blood then it will be called as macrophage which is the most important cell of chronic inflammation <coughs> macrophage can be present in different areas of our body and there they perform the function of phagocytosis about phagocytosis i have made a detailed videos in my previous lecture In case of kidney the macrophage present is mesangial cells in case of liver kaffir cell is present as a macrophage while in case of brain microglia is the macrophage cell in case of bone osteoclast is the macrophage cell osteoclast are the cells which break down the bone tissue while in case of spleen littoral cells are the macrophage cell in case of placenta hofbauer cell is the macrophage in case of lung alveolar macrophage is present which is also called dust cell in case of synovium type a synovial cell is present uh, while in case of connective tissue histiocytes is the macrophage <coughs> now come to the type of chronic inflammation granulomatous inflammation is a subtype of chronic inflammation it is mainly associated with the formation of granuloma cells what is granuloma cells it is area of necrosis area of any injury which is surrounded by macrophage modified macrophage which is also called epithelioid cell and further it is surrounded by large giant cell by the fusion of epithelioid cells and lastly a collar of lymphocyte is present and sometime at the place of lymphocyte plasma cell may be present area of necrosis may or may not be present in case of granuloma cell formation if necrosis is present then it will be of caseous necrosis type and that granuloma will be called cassetting granuloma if if necrosis is not present then it will be non caseous necrosis and the granuloma will call non cassetting granuloma now come to the structure of granuloma cells here is the injury present which is of necrosis type and it is surrounded first by the macrophage cells which is the which is formed from monocyte present inside the blood which in case is kept into the tissue and is called the macrophage macrophage will be further surrounded by modified macrophage or epithelioid cells which is which has slipper shaped nucleus inside the cell now due to fusion of the epithelioid cells there will be a multi nucleate giant cell formation around the modified macrophage cells which will be called large giant cells and further there will be presence of collar of lymphocytes which surround the whole structure and finally there will be formation of granuloma cells 
Granuloma cell can be present in various type of diseases like in case of tuberculosis cassetting granuloma is present in case of sarcoidosis non cassetting granuloma present in case of syphilis granulomatous lesion is present which is called gamma while in case of malaria dux granuloma is present in case of cat cat scratch disease steloid granuloma in case of Crohn's disease, non-cassetting granuloma is present. Note here that non-cassetting granuloma is present in case of only sarcoidosis and Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is actually a type of inflammatory bowel disease which consists of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. But only in case of Crohn's disease there will be granuloma formation and this is the differentiating feature between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. <coughs> now come to the difference between epithelial cell and epitheloid cell. Epithelial cell lines the body cavity while epithelioid cell do not line the body cavity. Epithelial cell have normal nucleus present inside the cell while in case of epithelioid cell slipper shaped nucleus is present which help in the formation of granuloma cell. Now the function of epithelial cell is it is protective in function while epithelioid cell is secretory in function. So these all are the information about the chronic inflammation. Thank you for watching the video. Do like, share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more notification of the videos. Thank you for watching the video.